everybody. I'm here with the cast again for and and Austin, who will be reading for Ada Hello. today because our lovely Julian Goats had to work again. Uh, emo Ada, they're already saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dark <I'm>, uh, Ada. <laughs> but we were. I was on a uh, listening to Lone Lion stream on Wednesday, I guess, and they were like, "What if Ada listened to MCR?" So that's 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 who you are. Yep. <laughs> Oh goodness, this is very difficult to read on a phone. Turn it sideways. Well, that's that's fair. Um, as you guys know, I'm Michelle. I'm the writer director of Detroit Evolution, and this is Austin, the composer. And we've got a lovely cast here who's going to perform a very very corrupted form of the script that has been translated into multiple languages and then back into English for some We're very. All Perhaps it evolved into something greater. We don't it know. It has evolved into we something greater. Ha, uh, but up to sh um, uh, deep end. For those who don't know, um, the way I did this, uh, and the mods definitely helped with this as well. So shout out to Neb and Pillow for for helping with this translation. Um, uh, uh, bas basically, what we did was at first we did German, Latin to German to Spanish to Japanese to English. And then I thought that was a little too gibberish. So then I did Esperanto to Malay to Maori to English. And that gave us some really interesting results. So uh, it's a combination of both those things. And we'll, we'll, we'll see. what. And, and they, these guys have not, for the most part, JJ has, has read ahead a little bit, but they have not read uh, any of this. So this is a complete cold read that they're going to make the best effort to act like professional, serious Shakespearean actors who actors do just do this a lot. Just do this. This is magic. This is this is all you got to do. <laughs> all right. This is my so, so I just had a dumb idea. Why do you think? Why do you think I brought I rock the Broadway background? For this? <laughs> and He's ready. My background's also very professional. Robot. Oh, a, a predictive text robot. The cat oh, from Broadway. All right. Um, and those who don't know, I will be reading the stage directions. Um, I will be uh, I will be the voice of the narrator who sometimes likes to break the fourth wall and comment on things when translated, as of last time with Detroit uh, Wakey. Uh, we also have in the role of Gavin Reed and Zen Gavin, Christopher Trindade. In the role of Christopher Miller, Michael Smallwood. In the role of Nines, Mike, Maximilian Coger. In the role of Tina Chen, Carla Kim, and in the roles of Lotso, Valerie, Dr. Maria, the protester, Parker, and Adrian Sawyer, the multi-faced JJ Goller. <laughs> and Thank then of you. course, Thank you as I said, Austin Butts as Ada. So let's go ahead and begin. Does everybody have their scripts? I do. Yeah. Wonderful. Rock and rolling. Have not have not looked at it. Go on in Oh, Sam. No guys, idea. And guys, let me know if audio is balanced and everything. Make sure we're not peaking. Make sure we don't sound like garbage. I sounded like garbage on the fan art stream, and, and I didn't realize till later, so we're, we're, we're hoping that this is good. <laughs> All right. So, we open with a quote. Forget what you have... Or, this is already fucking me up. <laughs> Forget you have what you need when you are alive. Luther. Scene one. Profound. <laughs> Profound. Scene one. Exterior. Nine Zen Garden. Day. The RK900 android, sometimes called Nines by its friend Detective Reed, is the only one at home. A butterfly sits on a leaf, and Nines is strangely looking. Hey. You can. <laughs> the butterflies are silent. Nines looked up and saw his friend. The clothes were beautiful, and he had a cloak on his nose. But Gavin was smiling. His face had no ordinary hair and black circles under his eyes. Good job, Gavin. <laughs> Ready to do it? Not at all. I'm still preparing for the review. It is a little under control right now. There is no body. I think it would be better to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, that going great. We have all <laughs> I, th I think it would be better to treat the body, people, problem. Gavin really wanted to get a little bigger. Wait, 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 endure. <laughs> Unleash the Lord's robe and let the nine speak. 
to reach their heights and achieve the liberation of Gavin for Cybus Lincina. We just had to put a satanic incarnation in the middle of it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Can you breathe now? I will never die. Gavin walks, plays with nature, <laughs> preparing his weapon on the leaves. You're so cheerful all the time, even in your own brain. Do you think you are your ideal world? Rest for a while. Nines takes off his clothes and follows Gavin. I've had a good look. <laughs> At least you let me wear my clothes. I like your style. Why did I change it? <laughs> Uh, I just can't look at Michael Smallwood because <laughs> time. <laughs> He's killing me. I'm already crying. I, I, I promise that I would be professional while reading, not while listening to other people. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not my coverage. Hashtag not my, not my coverage. Hashtag not my coverage. <laughs> not my coverage. <laughs> they stopped and looked at each other. Gavin is in the air in a way that is unsuccessful in biology. Gavin walks closer. <laughs> Suddenly, Gavin's voice came from the outside and from above. He hurried to the Zen Garden. Nines? <laughs> Nines? <laughs> I told them they could act out the stage directions if they wanted. <laughs> scene, scene two, exterior, Nuevo Jericho, car trip, day. Road oh. cut to Nines in the patrol passenger seat with Gavin in the driver's seat. Gavin stared at him, worried. Hi, canned meat bags, come in. Did you blow up the fuse or something? Nines came out of his sticky stasis, happy to correct his partner. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine, de detective, but think about whether androids will run out of jokes. As long as you're still one. Their report went well. Just kidding. But down his bull... But <laughs> you're killing me too. But not as beloved as in the Zen Garden. Gavin is also less polished, less fresh, and more stubborn than his gardening friend. The newly constructed detective, Chris Miller, sits in the back seat. Gavin looks back. They're old friends, too, but Chris's new promotion is a great opportunity for Gavin to pull it off. See you, newbie. However, Gavin, as a policeman for nine years, I've never seen anything. <laughs> yes. Yes, your captor has two days. Keep your eyes open. Watch and learn. You too. Please do not worry. No one has hated androids. Gavin is looking for a chaste man and knows he's with him. <laughs> <laughs> the entire theme of the movie summed up right there. Tyne <laughs> smiled at him a little. Gavin tweeted in the spirit of vulnerability and addressed violent attacks. Chris and Nines follow going side by side. Scene three, exterior, Jericho Nueva, early ticket. Gavin led the way as he entered the entrance, walking a narrow path of protesters shouting anti-android sentiment. Nines shifted his gaze to Gavin, trying to forget the blasphemy in the crowd, but still had his LED. Gavin turned around and reached out to his friend, the crowd. Nines. Christ is nine years old and yells at people outside. <laughs> <laughs> the forgotten years. <laughs> Oh, wow. Apocrypha. I don't think it's in the book, honestly. <laughs> it's the prequel. This is Jesus the prequel. Not in the original book. I wasn't finished. <laughs> Christ is nine years old and yells at people outside who have introduced him in a protective way. They were able to get away from the crowd, but a communicator jumped in to block him, blocking his path, and looked straight at nines. What do you think of plastic? DPD. Next. <laughs> <laughs> DPD, next, unless you want to spend the rest of the day in the cell to get involved in the police business. And who are you? Bootlicker android? What is with the police? Gavin suffered a head injury on the Protestant stomach and ar arrested the police. Chris was shocked, but somehow a little impressed. <laughs> Nines doesn't, doesn't seem to really admit it, and is a bit violent. When a man moans in pain, Gavin approaches uh. his ears. <laughs> Permanent. <laughs> <laughs> he turns around lovingly, like Chris, and finally nines. There is an overwhelming roar when near the entrance. Protesters are now fisting at Gavin. But nines hands. <laughs> 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 Just let.
cut it out and be done with it. God damn it. <laughs> Take a moment. Okay. Anyway. No, no. I'm, a prof- I'm a professional. Because <laughs> I, can't, I can't get through this if you're over the background muttering. <laughs> but Nine's hands had nowhere to go, grabbing Protestant's fists, stopping him for a very short time from reaching Gavin. With no effort, he held the Protestants, easily demonstrating the full force of his androgynous powers. The Europeans are trying to escape fear and suffering. You need to give Detective Reed advice. Get back to your your people. He was released by the protesters. The founder held his broken arm near his chest, demanding that he not die. Nice turns on his heels, following Gavin and Chris inside the house. Scene 4, Interior Ada, Day Execution. Nines, Gavin, and Chris are waiting at the Window Convention Center. Gavin was hanging out the window, watching the protests outside. (laughs) Gavin clasped his hands together and caught Nines' attention. Fortunately, no one made the movie. The last thing you need is to get shot in the face. No one returns to the place on my anal pillow. The order of group relationships, something about this man is said to be absent. It, it may be before the court, but Captain Fowler will not pay you a trustee. How to stop me? No matter what happened, it was worth it. There also lies. This cannot be justified as self-defense. Take it from, so- <laughs> Take it from someone who has issues. <laughs> Gavin died because of a flag on his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I love taking it from someone who has issues. Take it from someone who has issues. <laughs> as, as fun as the costume is, finding it, I don't need to care to, but I'm grateful. Gavin pauses and handles compliments. He looked at Nines for signs of sarcasm, dotted lines or punk, but no one came. The man barely masked the laughing man's laughter. A woman dressed in a fancy android outfit enters the room. She looks sharp, eyes shining smart. Although she smiles in the face of friendship, she seems to care less for people. The LED is in her right temple, not unusual in Jericho, as most other androids have thrown it away. Happy day. Thanks for coming. Are we talking to Jordan over the phone? Yes, yes. My name is there. Welcome to New Jericho. I guess the word is about android dead, right? People who die outside Jericho every day. There is no foreign body. There was a look as Nines put his hands on the table on one of the interface shoes. It's really fun to see the day acting like a detective. What is the number of copies? RK-900. RK? What about Mark? We are in the same style, Nine. Wonderful. Must be a type. I believe that mistakes make us alone. Were they very good at displaying files? <clears throat> of course. <laughs> Information about the victim is displayed on the large screen of the newspaper office. All of these are the causes. This is also known as a resurrected victim, so you contact them. We are aware of the number of your model. Lisa was the only AC-900 Jericho. What did they do to him? Steve Dorr found his body placed on the dock. Her chest cavity was opened and her thyroid bomb disappeared. What do I need? I goiter. Some of the murders are the responsibility of known victims. All his friends and acquaintances in Jericho lived here. It would be nice if we could meet his acquaintances. I, I, we need to get information from you. Ada returns to her seat and thinks today. I can't say that someone killed his Jericho. It's not hard to admit. I might believe it. Deviancy opens so many doors. Not all kinds. And with financial distress experienced by some androids, the desire to kill will be reliable. No one has been arrested so far. It was proof for a while. If you hear anything else that you think might help, contact us. Scene 5, Interior Jericho, New Lobby, Day. Chris, Nines, and Gavin cross the lobby. Gavin teased Ada's voice. You have to be nice. Madam, I can't take you anywhere. It's not like that. It will be unique, he said. 
Nines, who saw a ghost, was chilled and arrested. Uh, oh, that was um, good. <laughs> I, I can, I can have I your voice, too. I definitely want to hear it. There is no damn money. There is no damn money. I don't know how that translated to that. <laughs> On the way, the android Parker approaches them from the sidelines. Hi. You. I know you. Nines, Gavin, and Chris stopped. Nines and Gavin stand between the android and Chris, both looking at each other and trying to figure out who Parker is. Nines, <laughs> Parker looks sharply at Chris, who wants to turn around. Chris? Excuse me, buddy. It's beyond your stage. My name is Parker. You won't remember me, but I'll never forget it. Your face killed ten brothers in Capitol Park. <laughs> it doesn't really matter until you get it. Marcus will have to spend the night with you. Chris is still silent in the folds. Nines places hands on shoulder. It's the only thing that calms down. Chris is a nice person. Helped me and showed me what living means. He will protect our people. Not bringing my family back. Chris finally looks up and makes a connection with the android who hates it. I don't know him. At that point, everyone told you you were a machine. Mark's love shows that you were saved. You were the person. Like a human, I was too late to help a friend. As I live and vote every day, I am grateful to have you. I will not pay attention to your mistakes. Gavin licks Chris's arm. <laughs> no, I'm uh, out of here. The two went out together. <laughs> it was necessary to pass again, as they are not partakers of Parker. Parker's church is said to serve the general public by whipping them so disgustingly as they look. Nines follows his friends through the door. <laughs> Title sequence. Scene six. <laughs> <laughs> Opening credit. Scene six, interior, restroom, DPD, day, day. The coffee machine produces regular coffee. An in Asian the restroom. In the restroom. An Asian American woman in her early stages, Tina Chin, is attacked in the alley as she waits in the hot tub to finish microwaving. Are you still? <laughs> <laughs> Are you still spoiling your child? He's getting more and more comfortable with how good he is. He persuaded the dispatcher to make coffee for him. Gavin came to work for a shower and stung only one person today. However, if I reward him for his good behavior, that may still happen. <laughs> well, I think I'll take it. Maybe one day you were born at home. Laugh nines. Coffee runs out of beer. <laughs> coffee runs out of <laughs> You're affecting him, Nines. Sometimes he looks like he's sleeping, and since you've been working together, he's gone from full to maybe half full. Although, it's always nice to stop there just because he wants to. At least I'm not your friend, and I'm not trying to take you, Jen. I guarantee that you will maintain a sense of urgency when doing your office work. All right. <laughs> Hostile nines. <laughs> At least I'm not your friend. <laughs> I will be right back. I, I, I have to say um, that if I reward him for this good behavior, that may still happen, is one of my favorite slits. That's... <laughs> still got the energy. For uh, early stages. He's confused, but he's got the spirit. A C7 into the DPD bullpen. Nines brings Gavin's coffee to the table. As soon as the coffee hits the money, he got it. Thank God. Hate. <laughs> he loves you. Nines gestures at Gavin's legs spread. Um, you, you, uh, uh, move your legs. Gavin nodded, but was beaten. Nines sat at his desk where Gavin's leg was. Did you check the case? You already know what I am. When will I stop? He displays a photo of an abusive pump on his computer screen. Our host is the AC900, right? It's like a model designed for sport and stability. So the tire pump is one of the most valuable out there. Do you think the black market has also been killed? 
It cannot be governed. Uh, things have not progressed. Gavin points to his computer screen where the GPS map has many locations surrounded. <laughs> Once I finished the grapes, I saw a list of the Android market. A couple of husbands came back to me. Uh, a couple of husbands came back to me with some websites for deals on the black market. Contact information. A black market dealer working with DPD? Uh, they gave me intelligence. I'm still behind. That doesn't seem valid. God, nice. Sometimes you have to bend the rules to catch the big bad fish. <laughs> I know it's not in your bitterness or anything, but that's why you got me. How can I succeed without a doubt and your dominance overthrown? It's a really fun genre to read. <laughs> Wisdom? Gavin, I have a database in my brain that contains over 200,000 words in English, and I believe you just found the one that works best for you. Close the well. Nice laughed, and won the last word during a fake fight. Gavin changed the subject by pointing to the plan. See if we can get past if we can get past some dealers and bring them in, we might be able to find out if our special pump <laughs> our special pump <laughs> is available. Mm. <laughs> that can lead us to murderers. This is a good start, but waiting for our retailer to cross the road means it can take <laughs> several weeks for a hint. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because I liked smart ass. Think about it. Apparently, there are some websites for dark market activity to eaten up. Movie theater here with this steamy house in Ferndale. Both questions about Razor should be covered. Don't miss me. If we go to each other, we will live under Christ. He showed Chris. He was just... I love this. The <laughs> <laughs> small one you read ahead, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So... He showed Chris, who was just sitting at a table across from a gun. Chris looks kind of sad. <laughs> oh my god. He was quiet from Jericho. Can't blame him. Work continues. Interruption at work is just your talent. Gavin turned around and Nines kissed him before he could smell the bird. Then he starts talking to Chris. <laughs> I just, I can't believe Chris sitting at a table across from a gun looking sad. <laughs> just... Oh, Lord have mercy. Big Hank energy. Big Hank energy. That's dark. I'm going to refill this water. All right. Oh, my God. Wow. <clears throat> Not, like my diaphragm is on fire from like trying to hold it in. I find it hysterical that it's a fun genre to read and understand is what finally broke you. <laughs> it's a fun genre. <laughs> Y'all, I'm dying. I'm dying over this. Oh my like, god. Oh, oh. Crack me the fuck up. Oh no, you get some lines in this scene that's great, Michael. I love this. Take right. a deep breath. All right. All right. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's scene, scene eight interior spin places for car staking. <laughs> Nine Gavin and some other cars around the car park on the grounds of a hidden apartment. Gavin raised the two beads in his eyes and looked out to the entrance to the podium. No one can get in and out. You don't need binoculars. The view can zoom up to 850%. Yeah, I can't do that. You have at least one thing to look out for. I'm just here watching a mysterious gourd. Uh, <laughs> oh, trust me, Chris. <laughs> Being alone is better than being caught in a car with the music that Gavin is questioning. Donkey. You better not be alone during the week as I celebrate my promotion. Don't be afraid. I put it in our calendar. We will go there. Our calendar? I spend most of my time together. It makes sense to synchronize the schedule. If you want to stay tight to your hips, I can definitely find a room for you. Gavin turned off the police radio and turned around uncomfortable, turning his attention to the twins. Fuck. <laughs> Carla's dead. She's dying. Are you, one of the people, are you one of the people who switched to Android in the girl exam? Nines was about to restart in his seat. <laughs> are you talking to Ada? Yes, I did talk to Ada. <laughs> 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 you, 
You are a really terrible android, that you are. The living god is built to be aesthetically pleasing. What are you going to do? You know, feel something? I think I should start getting to know someone, connect with them mentally and emotionally. Their appearances have no great benefit. Seriously, I think with some flexibility, I can adjust some of their features and find out I like it. <laughs> Gavin seems to have mistaken Nines for his cool outfit. He looks at Nines for a moment, but didn't say anything. Yes, so, uh, so I don't have to worry about you. Damn. Is Jericho contacting us? I'm not into that program, so no. No, kid. <laughs> you, you don't bother me that you have problems with people. He looks out the window, strangely unaware of his last statement. Gavin continues to monitor the Vinox construction site. Lazo, a happy and anxious young man, goes into it. Hey, a little 800% zoom view is displayed. They both lean forward and look at the door. Then Nines decides to search Gavin. How are you? Why would you believe that? <laughs> I don't know, Nines. Can't get a farmer. I would probably take on someone who didn't shake me when things got worse. Is it bad? How is it? <laughs> you met me. What's going on? Oh, my God, you know people. It was a difficult start for us, I suppose, but I detest you more than disgust. <laughs> a loud voice interrupts this moment. Lasso. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lasso was building a box. A floating box that looks very heavy and recedes from the ground. <laughs> oh, no. All right, box boy. He brought props and costumes. I wasn't <laughs> come on props. I sure did. Oh okay. my god. All right. Why do you have that on hand? On uh -huh. hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm leaving. It's better if you don't know. <laughs> okay, get a farmer. <laughs> get a farmer. I'd probably take on someone who didn't shake me when things got worse. <laughs> I detest you more than I disgust. <laughs> okay, Det Michael, real talk, the one I thought was going to trip you up is I'm just out here watching a mysterious gourd. <laughs> I mean, look, I don't know enough about Detroit to know whether or not the gourds are known by everybody or if there are <laughs> gourds that people are like, what's weird? It's just what? like, I'm not, I, there's this pumpkin and it was a carriage a while ago and I'm just <laughs> waiting for it to turn back. Oh, we like you've never seen a mysterious horror. <laughs> I, I hate this gig. Okay. <laughs> Scene nine, exterior stakeout area, La Noche. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lotso walks down the street lamp, looking over his shoulder in a few steps. Then he goes straight to the real estate. Nines looks at him, the LED is bright at night. Oh, honey. <laughs> Gavin came out behind Lotso, the badge in his hand. What do you want, boy? Well, you know that girlfriends behave like a fuss. Care if you check the box? <laughs> Lotso doubted, but his decision was unsuccessful. He dropped the box on the ground and smashed it backwards. <laughs> ah, yes, it is. Straight. The most venerable Gavin sits in front of the chest of the box. Nine scans Lotso, looking at the murders, as well as personal information, and the entire record of Lotso's crime. His name appears as Lazarus the Razzo Flateri. Pre previous mistakes include red ice treatment, auto theft, and professional sportsmanship. Oh, that's good. <laughs> previous mistakes. <laughs> Just... Lotso rolled his eyes, looking for a way out. As Gavin brings back the cover, Lotso kicks in, trying to get Nines ahead. Nines leads Lotso back to Nines led Lotso back to Gavin as Gavin pulled a broken android arm out of the box. I recommend never trying to reevaluate the integrity of your framework. Did you know that the unregistered role in Android purchases is really illegal? Oh, I know how bad that is, but the truth is, I still have a girl, and she's a prime minister, and she can't keep up with it. Just like you're a spy, you're clear. Hello. Hello. Quiet. Look, boy, we just want to know if you bought this type of boat towel. <laughs> Wait. 
a regular <laughs> pump? I, no one, has a thyroid pump, which looks like a holy grail. I mean, it's a win in the hearts of people, you know? No one wants to release it because they need androids to survive. Gavin faces nines, and understanding will be intertwined. Lotso and I understand that it's probably true. However, the protection of the free Lotso group remains the same. So, your cellar does not have a beautiful flooring in his collection. Never. <laughs> 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 we wrote Carla. Should I mute myself? Am I disturbing? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're perfect. Great. Never. These children are mostly hugged. <clears throat> like a robot arm armed with rifles. There are a lot of disadvantages inside because of imports from Japan. I mean, I fell in love with the trash can trying to dive behind the cybersecurity workshop, and one of their laser drones made it Swiss cheese before he could catch anything. Gavin made an incoherent voice, refusing to accept the idea, but also disagreeing. <laughs> that's what goes back and forth between them. Uh, can you go now? <laughs> Android smuggling gets what's called a federal crime. You will be arrested. You must be right. However, the cooperative way may not be launched immediately because an agreement cannot be reached. Gavin released his belt and shook Lotso's hand behind his back. Here, shaking. <laughs> please, please, do not worry. We'll be easy for you. Just try not to be too happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> there is a lot of subtext in that scene. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> scene 10, montage is working on the case, including footage. Number one, Chris and Gavin testified about Lotso's interrogation, and two other residents of Jericho claimed to know the victim. Number two, there are video views of this interrogation on the tablet in his office. And number three, night photography in the coffin where other people come home. Gavin fell on the desk and went to bed. Nines comes up with a veil, pays Gavin for the white jacket, and grabs the cup from the coffee table. As Nines walks away, Gavin drives, realizing that the jacket is dragging him. <laughs> Scene 11. <laughs> I love this heading. Scene 11. Interior. Gavin lives in a warehouse. <laughs> Nine stretches and changes clothes in Gavin's living room. Gavin is in front of a laptop where Nines pours a transparent futuristic tablet. Nine slides through various witnesses and notes. Gavin's cat is on the table and is scared. His eyes sighed. My voice gets tired. <laughs> I know there is nothing good. I found it, but sometimes she can't stay there. Lasso talked about protecting girlfriends, which is why he bought part of the law. If it's not what killed him, he's an assassin. What if the killer gets killed because they need charm? Don't you believe, don't you believe in the allegory of a sick child? Androids are systemically low level. Not so long as the government was involved. They are human souls and their situation is desperately at risk. The table was moaning and Gavin popped on the bed. He leaned down and started sliding through the tablet in Nine's hands. At night, when he wasn't suffering from Nine's, he needed to be near the underdog. Gavin looked through the witness as if it was nothing, but Nine's insisted, deeply aware of his partner's skin feelings. <laughs> Damn. I have nothing. So, at last, Gavin. Something. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gavin. <laughs> Something. <clears throat> I recently realized the increased irony of smoking, the use of Julius. Um, Don't you want to scan me? Yes, Jesus. <laughs> I am your partner. You can't use the person you need to take care of, so I'm worried I can give it to you. Want to sleep with me? <laughs> also, files cannot be checked while sleeping. Don't worry if you're with me, of course. Yes, I died. Just stop looking at my insides and my face. <laughs> Gavin, rest. This is what is here every morning. Gavin stops at the bedroom door. <laughs> Overnight. He went to the bedroom and closed the door behind him. <laughs> Need to decompress from that one. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> 
so it last. Gavin. Look at my insides. Can't get a car. <laughs> Yeah, Stop looking at my inside. <laughs> and my face. And my face. <laughs> eyes up here. Wait, no, don't look at them. Over there. <laughs> eyes up here. Over here. Eyes over here, buddy. <laughs> Scene 12. Exterior 9 Zen Garden Sun. It was a warm day at Nine's Mental Institution. Nine's... <laughs> <laughs> Nine's wardrobe is also different this time. A more casual sweater, not a tight dress. <laughs> Hello, new topic. I'm digging. <laughs> Why didn't that translate to hot topic? <laughs> Those bowls are not for you. They're trying to do difficult things, but I'm sure you'll find a way to outrun me. He scrutinized the evidence and waved his hand to remove it. <clears throat> no evidence. I'm still working on this case. From other sources, I start thinking about the risk of suicide. His emotional goal of Gavin lies on the nearby ledge. And that's terrible for other guys. She's torn, so he probably left a notice. Right on. That's right. <laughs> I was pregnant. <laughs> Although I think I can compare his... <laughs> Small wind. <laughs> Okay. Right on. Uh, that's right. I was pregnant. Although I, I can compare his flaws with those of previous beliefs, to be exact. He took a step further and created more valuable data. This is not the first time an android lost its share. It's been four months. She's a Tracy model, and she's a bit of a Tracy part. <laughs> <laughs> Calling her a pussy? What the fuck? We consider it a sex crime, but every android does not have a unique component to their model number. Something very valuable to sell or collect. My questions are better. <laughs> hmm? What did Gavin say before he went into the bedroom? Nine stops. The case files are stacked behind him, leaving him alone with Gavin's projection. Gavin has no time to analyze the thousands of things you want to tell me. I, I need to concentrate. Gavin leaves the bank. You need to focus on other things. So will you be with him? What time? You have to go first. And always, the lion shits carrots. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to be honest. Gavin was focused a little ahead of schedule. <laughs> Nines, correct your shoulders. Um, uh, okay, um... I actually translate these simulations without intention. I was built and destroyed, but there are still some things I haven't done. We hope that Gavin will not lead our society. It's not like what he said when he came out. A man doesn't need all the bells and whistles, Nines. He just wants someone who doesn't hate him. If so, I mean that. Until then, I am a husband. <laughs> there is nothing else. Nines runs away and ends the simulation. <laughs> 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 we got, I mean, uh, we just not gonna break down. Uh, sometimes the lion shits carrots. <laughs> <laughs> it's very it's profound. I guess I just can't. It's very profound. I like the idea that Zen Garden Gavin comes up with metaphors that make completely no sense, just because he has a glitch. <laughs> you know what they say: the lion shits carrots. Gavin, they don't say that. Lion yeah, shits no. <laughs> Nobody says that. <laughs> Well, I'm going to start so, saying it now. It's like that fan art the other day where it's like, everyone knows ketchup's for drinking, and then Nines just sweeps in behind him. Gavin, no. Yeah. Gavin, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's pretty in line. That's pretty on brand for us. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scene 13, interior. I live in a Gavin warehouse. Nines woke up <laughs> from the Zen garden with a little voice. A sudden moan rumbling behind the bedroom door caught his attention instead. Gavin? Gavin! And apart from all he said, as soon as these people leaned on the bedroom door, they didn't know they had a good life with him. You can open the door quickly without knocking. <laughs> Scene 14, interior, around the Gavin room. Gavin was wrapped in a blanket, wet by sweat, soaked as if by an invisible entity. Nines walked over to his side and sat down beside the bed. Gavin, get up. 
He slapped Gavin's jaw, still trying to soak his head. <laughs> Come, Lieutenant. <laughs> Gavin woke up, but he's still pretty. <laughs> he tries to defeat Nines from her, but the more Gavin hits him, the closer Nines pulls him. You will be fine. You're fine. Not real. He pulls away and Nines lets go. Glad Gavin is back to reality. Are you still here? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I am still investigating our case. I heard you were poor, so I got some water. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I, I feel great. <coughs> Right, madness, unlucky madness. You know I'm not sleeping, right? <laughs> it is difficult for nines to reach their goals. What is a dream? There's, there's nothing. Please remember. Learning more about you won't bother me. Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> the cat's ass jumped off the bed between them. And Just the ass, okay. That was asshole the cat. That's what that translated from. <laughs> cat's ass. The cat's yeah, ass that. jumped on the bed between them. The fingers behind Gavin's ears still calmed her down. I can I can stay with you if you want. Studies have shown that physical contact is for the benefit of people, but God does not allow serotonin to affect those in need of soothing. <laughs> no, no, it's not. I take the cat case. <laughs> the bed is broken, so nines increases slowly. I didn't want to push the problem. So I'll be home if you need me. The completed Gavin finally runs a panic device. It's almost late tonight, so hell, it looks like I'm back there. Nine stood still looking back at his friend. Gavin looked small, sitting on the couch for him. Nines chuckles, then goes straight to the bed and sits down again. The cat broke out. <laughs> Fucking asshole. I was a stupid boy graduate from high school. (laughs) 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 Okay. We got it, we got we got it, we got it support. I got this. I got this. I was a stupid boy graduate from high school. A short ice cream from red to peanut. I just I can't do it. I stop. He raised me and kicked me. Hen, they hit me and pushed me out. I was flying around Detroit with a blood pump. Fowler found out. Get me out of his car. Take me to some restaurants and buy me coffee. Tell me I can add DPD a bit. That seems like a good goal. Why this nightmare? Because when it changed in my head, he never showed up. I am a justice man and will die there. Bleeding snow is bad and no one cares. Do you know you don't want me? <laughs> oh, Gavin said nothing. He looked at Nines for a moment before reaching for the paper. Nines reached out and put Gavin's hand over him. Gavin leaned forward, resting his head on Nines' shoulders and looked up again. If you, t- if you tell anyone about it, I will force you to pull out just give birth (laughs) (laughs) they sat together in peace symbolized by the light of the moon as he continued to hold Gavin's hand Nine's scalp slowly receded to reveal white soap underneath holy (laughs) shit check the chat Uh, yeah, you know what? Everyone in the chat, your boy's also dying because <laughs> tell anyone about it. I will force you to pull out. And, um, just, just give birth. Just give birth. Just give birth. I can't just breathe. You be clean. I can't breathe. It's just a bunch of I can't breathe. My stomach hurts. I'm dying. Y'all chill. White soap. Wait, y'all chill. Have you read this? Are you script? saying Nines has dandruff? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Nine a short ice cream from red peanut. Back out. 
I like you know? how the line, the line that originally was still very much a pickup line that I love, which is studies say that human beings need contact, is that this version then weirded out because Nines then goes, uh, yeah, but I mean, but also God doesn't want us to touch. So. <laughs> God doesn't allow serotonin. God doesn't allow serotonin. <laughs> Very confused to pick up life. It's like, I really want to touch you, but also God, so what can I do? I <laughs> Religious crisis. <laughs> Usually that's the Latin. Uh... <laughs> All right, scene 15, interior, gas empty bedroom. Tomorrow, Gavin moves slowly due to fear of destruction, but he is alone in his bed. Gradually, he seemed to remember that he not only slept with his friend, but also shed his limbs a moment ago. You're still here? <laughs> Why not? In fact, breakfast, eggs and toast, forever. <laughs> 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 Breakfast, coffee, hug him while while he slept. What are they doing? Gavin sat up straight. Everyone's drinking soup. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what the heck is it? Feels good. Fucking peach. <laughs> he got out of his bed and stuck to the closet looking for something to carry. Would you like to get out of here and have a good time at work? That means erasing all elements from the past and your brain. Nines is offended and now understands what Gavin's nursery rhyme is. I don't go because you are depressed by the human condition. Scram! <laughs> Nines, <laughs> Nines can see it before. Finally, he shook his head and left the room. <laughs> I feel like I gotta let Michael to decompress for a second because he's got lines in a second. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much better than I could have possibly hoped for. Oh, so... <laughs> true to vote. X and to X and toast to forever. X and toast forever. <laughs> it's breakfast. X and toast forever. <laughs> oh, I I was dead. I was dead from the description that was gradually. He seemed to remember that he not only slept with his friend, but also shed his limbs a moment ago. I mean, <laughs> hasn't been there. Oh, All right. right, I like both those. If you have Wait, sleep paralysis, oh. that makes sense. Let's pop it off and grow a whole new one. You know. Everyone is drinking oh my soup. God. Oh I my have God. no idea what that line was originally. Everyone is drinking soup. I don't go because you're depressed by the human condition. Scram! I mean. <laughs> That's that a mood. It's scram. Oh my god. Scram. <laughs> oh, he's saying he wants scrambled <laughs> eggs. That's eggs. what he's saying. Scramby. He wants a scramby. He wants an egg scramby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, okay, sorry. I'm so sorry. This, <laughs> this, this again. Serious back tours. Not my coverage. <laughs> Not my coverage. Not my coverage. <laughs> <sighs> Whew. All right, scene 16, interior, Ada list, day. This is progress. Well, we have interviews with all our contacts. We are safe from Jericho. We were reviewing the poster to see if it has a guide. I saw nines in the local black market. Nothing has changed. I told you to tell anyone that. Shh. Wait, what? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yes, that's a bit pointless. Um, but looking at some of the cold cases yesterday, I came across an example that I forgot. Chris was amazed at the confusion. This is unfamiliar, Sherlock. His words bite today. No one likes to joke around. Nines found it to be a tough pill. <laughs> I know that Lisa is not the only one who has died that is not very biological. Last year, nearly a dozen victims came. I, I have yet to write down because sometimes I, I get lost or or broken at the time of the crime um but but now, now i wonder if these uh victims were <laughs> responsible gavin got angry because a tall thin man tried to get into his chair <laughs> fucking move it's just it's man. more comfortable i'm sorry i want this chair <laughs> are you looking for problems related to your boyfriend uh, i just found out yesterday i don't want to talk to you <laughs> isn't it yesterday <laughs> Chris is a huge fan no. of Gavin. Shut up and not happy about it. 
So are you the victim of a serial killer? I need to do some research to find out, um, but this seems to be the case. Every piece of furniture that is stolen is different and, and very important. Lisa's green bombs, Philip's large battery, and some Kevlar bombs, bombs have been shut down from the android. It, it's, it is as if the collector has a collection. You're the largest android ever built, RK900. Nines was um, <laughs> unsure of the answer. Gavin looked as if he wanted to illuminate Ada with his eyes. The methods of the assassins are divided in this section, and by chance, they live here in Jericho. We can search all the rooms. When you find Kathy, you find the killer. But I will, yes. need, <laughs> but I will need your permission for our fate. And for Marcus. I'm sure everybody is ready to court Lisa's murderer. <laughs> okay, Ada. Wow, feel yourself, huh? <laughs> the Ada X North. Scene 17. You have problems related to your boyfriend? <laughs> Do you have problems with your boyfriend? I don't want to talk to you. Uh, I mean, you find Kathy, you find the killer. You find the killer. I fucking love that. <laughs> Hashtag when you find Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Round up all the Kathys! <laughs> And Ada's like, my plan is working. They think it's Kathy. I kind of imagine like a Spartacus moment. I'm Kathy. <laughs> no, I'm Kathy. <laughs> Witness me. It's Kathy. I think of the <clears throat> I broke the dam moment in South Park. I broke the dam. <laughs> I broke the dam. I broke the dam. I broke the dam. I'm <laughs> Kathy. <sighs> Scene 17, oh. interior, Ada Regional Office, day. Ada and Chris were chatting in their offices while Nines and Gavin were standing in the backyard. I know what this joke is about. You're depressed about this case, <laughs> about last night. You hear me? <laughs> he stormed off, leaving Nines looking at him yes. with a red LED and a wounded expression. Nines has capital R regret. <laughs> Chris and Ada huddled outside the office. Good friends! Yes! I love Android! Now that I have a small cocktail, that's it. You suit us. Is Detective Nines real? I'm sorry. Yeah? You came to my party last night at Burns Alley, didn't you? Sure. Please. I will dream of your participation. Ada goes to her office and closes the door. Chris is scared. Nines and Chris walked through the hall together. Did I invite her for dinner? Can you thank me later, Casanova? Casanova is the man. No. Nines was handed to the king of trash and smiles. The LED will light up red. <laughs> the king of trash and smiles. If that is not Gavin, I don't know who read. <laughs> The king of read. How? I only know my majesty, the king of trash and smiles. I am sure that everyone's going to make tons of fan art of this, but I need a king of trash and smiles for it. <laughs> I need trash and smiles. My favorite part of that does have to be, though, Chris. I love Android. Now that I've had a cocktail, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I am now. Uh, All it took was to get a little drunk to like androids. <laughs> That is how that is how I am with a cocktail. It's like, oh man, I love everybody. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, right now. Right now. Everyone's my best friend when I've had a few. <laughs> All right, uh, is Valerie ready? <coughs> Valerie is ready, sweetie. Oh, oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. Yes. Those lips. Look at you. Yes. Thanks, me hot. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, JJ, you look like Miranda sings his mom. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, no, but Tell I have to do it justice because she's so pretty, so I have to find my way. Love oh, my God, TRA. Uh, miss her. Continue. Let's go. <laughs> Scene 18, interior, good night bar. The bar is almost crowded, and the main occupants are Gavin, Chris, Tina, and Nines at one of the tables on the second floor. They were also joined by a woman in her 30s, Valerie, who was friends with Tina. Oh, which <laughs> gal pals? Lesbian erasure. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> they're friends, like, like Dina and, uh, and Gabrielle. Like, they're friends. Yeah, they're just friends. Yeah. Just really good gal pals. We were roommates for a while, you know. <laughs> Most of them had beer, and Nine drank a candy-colored co beverage made from whiskey. 
Chris and Tina levitate glasses. To Chris, the latest and worst DPD detective. I don't know about it. I've seen that Lieutenant Anderson before. Oh my god, you love Hank. You drive me to the top. Gavin and me. Fear. Oh, you're kidding me. It doesn't matter to Tina. Um, you don't have to bribe a cook when you get home. <laughs> Is that Hank? I think he's coming home from New York now. I heard from Connor a few days ago. He said the NYPD has expanded their contracts. Two more weeks of training from their android prostitution department. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Edge in the first half, not gonna lie. <laughs> Connor went into a different field, I see. Okay. <laughs> Um, they say no one is better than them. The OJT for Android abuse. <laughs> That's so true. I went upstairs to drink. Does anyone want anything? Beetle water. Thank you. Beetle <laughs> water. <laughs> That's what just, so the just water like gas babe. particles. Translated. Just water, Beetle baby. Water. Oh, oh, that makes Beetle sense. water. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you imagine the look the bartender would give you if you actually tried to order? Fetal water. No. Thing. One fetal water, please. You. Get the fuck out. Talk about water. breaking water, in here, right? Jesus. Do you mean tepid water? Oh my god. Or ice? <laughs> Is ice fetal water? Have you ever played Death Stranding? Fetal water. Fetal water. There you go. That's yeah. the answer. Uh, Valerie kisses her cheek and is off the table. As she walked by the bar's entrance, Ada entered the room, looking around to find some people she knew. Gavin pounds on the table. What's going on here? Chris asked. Where do you want to go? Treat her like a jerk. Not an epidemic. He went downstairs and greeted the door. Chris and Tina resumed negotiations. Hi, Dora. <laughs> Thanks for all you do. <laughs> So, what's the point of not wearing a uniform again, detective? Super nice. My favorite part of justice. I can't wait to get it. I don't like the Navy. <laughs> wow, Tina is really <laughs> overworked, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the Navy and the DPDs. <laughs> She's a Marine. Perfect. <sighs> oh, go Army, beat Navy. Uh, scene 19, interior, from the other side. Ada and Nines are sitting at a small table. I didn't know the country had become android. I think you need to reach out to your team. I go to the wine press. Go to the province and contact the nearby town on behalf of Jericho. But I will never leave our structure. They both take their drinks for a moment. There's a look, and Nines is weird. You know, I think you're the first android to fulfill his duty. I thought it was just me. <laughs> now we are free, like people who need to hide it. Sometimes I want to be a better person, but am I this android, or not sad? I agree. We are not created as humans. Why decide? If you save your LEDs, does that mean you have rebooted after the switch? It marks the transformation of the part that I was not the only one looking for a man. It, it seemed like I was... It, seemed, it like seemed like a great opportunity for artwork. I never met him. He was just himself. But he's so amazing, isn't he? He let me down. So, not that amazing, I would say. <laughs> the same direction. Anyway, on the other side of the bar. <laughs> That's a sad thing. I wanted to be a lifeguard throughout my career, and I'm here. I don't know. I don't think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Gavin stands in his chair. <laughs> Uh, I'm smoking, so... <laughs> <laughs> and, and he arose and went down the stairs. <laughs> 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 
He, he does improv. Oh, Gavin draws nines <laughs> to attention when leaving the bar. I was depressed for a while. He left the desk and headed for the exit. <laughs> I just love the idea. All oh, my can... dreams were to be a lifeguard. No, he's stuck as a cop. What are we doing? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Chris wants to do the scene standing. I love it. The commitment. <laughs> scene 20, exterior bar night. Gavin only smokes outside the bar to strengthen it. Nines came out behind him, ruining the sight. Oh, Fucking rude narrator, Jesus Christ. Um, is this the part where I think you will die from smoking? <laughs> <laughs> it's the part of the business, and I don't care so much. I see you still have a lot. I don't have it. I've got CNN to overcome it. Nines looks inside him. <laughs> I know exactly who you are. You have good person pain. But if you have doubts about sailing in the sea, you cannot leave this place. You don't want to help. Do you think a life will heal me and you can change everything overnight? It could be a night. Nines, not ten or a hundred. This is what you get. I'm not trying to change anything. You are my partner, and I am proud of this as well. What you don't want to accept is that no matter how you sit on me, I have nowhere to go. <sighs> Gavin calmed down and finally looked at him. I hate to lose your nightmares, but it has never changed anyone. You hope they do, and you'll burn it. So... Are you worried about Ada? Why doesn't an android change? Please. Go away. <laughs> Nines lifts his shirt cuffs, a restless nervous system. <laughs> a necessary cross. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, Ada is walking home. Um, I'll go see you. Uh, that, that's it. Um, let's talk. Don't worry. I don't need your help or your love. <laughs> you don't need me. Nines looked at him for a moment and gave up on Gavin forever. Yeah. You know what? Ada's really hot, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love how there was actual real angst in that scene. <laughs> <laughs> Scene 21, interior bar night. Nines return to Ada, who saw the exchange through a window. Are you okay? It's just fine. We've been through it lately. I hope everyone else will do the same. Scene 22, exterior night bar. Gavin stays out of the cigarette light. Some text by Tina appears. Tina, do you win this year's event? He types back. Gavin, all caps. Very, very easy. Enemy. Tina, all caps. Free! Text if you need me. Nines is now leaving, wearing their pants. His body language shows that he is unwilling to look for anything. As they exited the city, Gavin <laughs> turned around, saying he would never see them again. He stuck to the smoker with his phone. Nines breaks when Ada walks forward. He glanced back at Gavin, who had been tucked away in a veil over his head in a polarizing fashion. Gavin was turning his toes to look back at Ada and Nines as if through the corner of the alley. He took his cigarette, put it in his phone, and followed him. In his phone. Okay. All right. Scene 23, exterior Detroit Road, night. Ada and Nines walk down the street slowly, and the city is quiet. Gavin follows his head without the hood behind them. When they first came to Jericho, I thought it was familiar to you. Then I remembered. I was reading an article about a job done in Android Murders a month ago. You gotta subscribe oh. to Android Murders. <laughs> oh, it's also wonderful. Um, it took Gavin a month to figure it out. I remember when I made a message. Amazing. I don't know most of your beliefs. <laughs> um, well, Gavin is an exceptional detective. Um, the amount of laptop with forensic analysis equipment and fingers is inexperienced. <laughs> How good is our pain? <laughs> don't be conservative. I'm sorry for the rash. They don't you, even have the most a... advanced operating system ever developed, 
cyber life. Why do you know so much about me? Trust in the data law. Cyberlife files will be released during the revolution. <laughs> I want to know where I work. Nine's nasal sounds. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, another photo on a DPD device that pre prevents an alleged crime. However, information about me appears anywhere on the internet. Ironically. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it doesn't make him uncomfortable, but the RK line has a special charm. <laughs> I know all the prototypes of the model. He had no current morbid cyber life experience. Nines didn't seem to keep going, and he kept thinking, what's going on? And is Ada alone rating herself as advanced? It's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my, my life is meant for cyber health care. I'm not human if you didn't know that already. I'm in the filler because they programmed it themselves. Of course. Looking back, it must have been near the end of the Gavin block. Nine's <laughs> tasks are completed, effectively pushing the arm into the outer alley. This shows that they haven't gone home with her. Scene 24, exterior, cat shelter, night. <laughs> back with Nine's and Ada, they follow a quiet and darker path. It's, it's not the road to Jericho. No, Nines. No. His hands turned something back, showing off the white skin of the chassis and trying to wrap it around his neck. His throat uh -huh. was clean and he was pushing it to his knees, shouting. He closed his eyes and settled on the newly fired... Oh. <laughs> 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 Hold on. What is happening? Where? <laughs> 404, camera not found. What are you doing? <laughs> What chair is that? <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> it looked like you were being violently wrestled by your cat for a second. Just like, I can't tell which way it's up because of your background. <laughs> What's yeah. going on? Oh my god. That's really amazing. A fitting moment for that to happen. <laughs> oh, you break through. Oh. <laughs> As I'm saying, my tripod is garbage. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I am ready to get back to it. <laughs> right. Scene 25, exterior Detroit street, dark street, night. Gavin accelerated his steps, going down the aisle. He heard Nines cry and started running. Ah, Nines! Ah. He entered the lane. Ah. Nines faced the sidewalk alone, his body slightly twisted. Nines! Gavin <laughs> fell to his knees and pulled his knee to his knees. He held Both Nines' nice head between his arms. Uh, Nines was in bad shape. His skin was burning. Uh, his eyes were turning blue, and his voice was uh, coming out uh, of a broken electrical fire. The, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the LED shines in three colors. Uh, gay. In. Uh, Where did it happen? <laughs> Adam. Ah! Uh, uh, stay with me! Shit! He looked up and turned his head to see if anyone near the road was nearby. Nines reached out to the jacket and had a hard time keeping it functioning. Oh. Gavin. No, oh, he, didn't, he didn't sleep, Nines. Come on, you're really finishing. You can experience anything. <laughs> Nines' LED goes out. Gavin's looking at the remains of his partner, loosens in his arms. Surely my face pressed my finger against Nines' cheek. On the contrary, Gavin recites a turban with a nine's crown, and his whole body <laughs> rises again. Police lights are slowly filling the alley. Gavin raises his face and flashes blue and red lights. <laughs> what the fuck? C26, interior, Camp Cyber Life Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry. Camp Cyber Life Anatomy. So what this is? It's, what this is, I got, it's this from the spinoff that's like the Detroit Evolution characters, but they're all eight. Oh. Yeah, going to summer oh. camp. They're all going to camp summer together. Camp, you. Right, and it's yeah. and that's really weird because I'm going to be the same age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with a bunch of eight-year-olds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. Okay. Heading on down to CCLA. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to be one of the uh, counselors. <laughs> yes. Nines is laying on the operating table. He was completely naked, looking like a blonde from the neck down. 
You settle down. You settle down. <laughs> you settle down. <laughs> His face was the only thing that out. anyone could ever see. <laughs> He said the enamel legs would be incorporated into a white Ken doll. Sodium tubes and other monitors are attached to the body and fastened to the port. Dr. Mary, in a middle-aged lab coat, walks around the table to carry her tablet. There she is, checking her vitals. The blue LED flashes slowly, but is on and off. <laughs> Outside the guards, Gavin knew the place by keeping the window. He presses into the glass. A woman kicks the window and perceives his eyes in the dark. I'm Tina. Tears still remain. <laughs> she, tend she tended to hug him, but slower in this heartfelt matter. And when he put his hands on her, it put her nose in his mouth. Scene <laughs> <laughs> 27, interior waiting room, cyber nightlife. <laughs> okay. I'm Dr. Mary Schaefer. I plan to put it directly in front of me. Thank you for bringing him here right away. When I came to Cyberlife and Culture, there was no irreversible corruption. Ben? Please sit still. Dr. Gavin sits in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Nines is a tattered operating system. In our opinion, he was hard at work in the wrong mindset. And as he faced criticism, he pumped some of his fans into the system. Yeah, uh, Adam Jericho's town lied again. <laughs> I saw it in a file reserve, but he's more than you know. Scene 28, exterior, nine elegant tastes, day. The nine's ghost is in the palace, but it's wrong. Flowers and pixelation defects. Sky shakes and color changes from orange and red to gray. Uh, Gavin? Uh, Gavin? And here is Nines. Hey! <laughs> Still <Wait>. shirtless. <laughs> he, he listens to her and sees it in his eyes. He's also got the Ada. Oh, is that an STD or? <laughs> got that Ada? <laughs> but now I know. The curious horse has been moved. That's not the, the interface. You tried my console. You stole it. And now I can't play Jedi Fallen Order. <laughs> Not to hurt you. When you reply, it interrupts my investigation. Now your software has to run properly. It goes into safe mode. However, it doesn't work well, and it's based on programming, and the fire is burned through the closed eyes of the Serpentium. You're a Serpentium. The fuck? So I guess I have to destroy what hurts me? He struck them, and the red walls are revealed in electronic music. And he looked closely at the wall. It looked very much like a wall he had to cross. It melts slowly, but he knows it's there. You can't hurt me. I'm not a real person. I'm just a copy of the operating system. Made of the real thing. Purpose. What's the point? Grow up. <laughs> 29. <laughs> Interior cyber okay. service in the waiting room. Gavin and Tina joined in listening to Dr. Mary speak. What do you know about Ada? Ten years ago, Kamsky was still the deputy director of Cyberlife. Most of the company is run by board members, but Elijah is still testing parties. There's the first one, RK-100. RK? How many nines? She is his protagonist, but the show is different. Before Kamsky realizes that the mind is the most important part of the being apart, he has to concentrate on what everyone else is doing. If a machine like Ada could always be developed, I would love to learn from you and ultimately gain confidence. The experiment was also good information before Cyberlife. Tired. Dr. Seed's story is over. Kamsky was shot dead when he was spotted by Cyberlife. He said he was on the board because the company and the world were hurt. The RK-100 was sent to the dismantled junkyard. I would not say it is correct. <laughs> he was made to adapt and grow no matter what. At this point, it's hard to know how perfect his body is and how much is stolen from a other androids. Kamsky was shot dead. It wasn't me. And I just love that Gavin's response is, 
I would not say it is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, think that's the truth. I'm trying to tell us something. The truth. <laughs> I don't know. Scene 30, exterior, this ninth elegant taste, true. day. Adam was suffering I'm with nine it. people. I don't want the code <laughs> to be the last of my possibilities. I thought Marcus was the most famous. It will return to Jericho. See you again. No, our system has no problems. We choose who we are. We've been cut off. No, I have to perform as best as I can because I'm projected. Nines loses stimulation and stars. His face is open and glassy, and it's always there, but it's cold, never hitting him. Go back and hit the air with the wall of your fist until you break the red pixels. There is a white target box on the red wall. Update in development, but not on the just... wall. It was in his hands. They make no difference. A red wall was sleeping between them. Nines looked like he wanted her to be close to him, but he knew the wall would just block it. No. Listen to me. I can help you. L let me help you get lost. Uh, uh, if you want to develop something like yourself. Noncompliance creates deficiency in the code. As you said, no one tests us anymore. It is our understanding of evolution. Logical objectivity. Thank you for helping me. She left. He knocks on the red wall again, activating it again. He hit her repeatedly and to no avail. Uh, Hades! Ada! <laughs> Scene 31, interior life shirt night. She really liked nines. I thought I might be with him or something like that, but that's part of what I don't want, because I don't want to be fashionable. <laughs> and the truth is, with dozens of others, killed him in parts. How to make Android with other Android. <laughs> See if you can kill Androids? At least people make mistakes. We all knew he had to say. She counts each step, and we fall in love. So, people don't even notice nines. What he can do is not well known. You can stop what you are doing now. Not without a blank tip. I... Kevin moaned his... and rubbed his face. <laughs> <sighs> Last thing I said to him was, I don't want you. I already told you a lot of bad things, so I prevented you from being alone. This time is different, T. Keep seeing more of my bullets, and then he wants to get closer. Illogical. It sure is. Very simple. <laughs> so that's what you need to have. That is correct. Gavin, if it doesn't look good, it's worth it. <laughs> You're all he was talking about when I ran to him in the toilet. You are the world. I'm not sure, but hey, that's true. Gavin plans to go back and leave the bones. He accepts it, but he doesn't know either. If he came back, what if he didn't? Would they like to return it to them or something? Tina carried his shoulders and comforted him before threatening to leave his seat. Hello. You will notice. That still works. <laughs> I just love how unhelpful a friend, Tina Chen. <laughs> <laughs> the one line that's still like very, very true is uh, what did she say? I prevented you from being alone. Yeah, <laughs> at least. If it doesn't look good, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> very toxic. <sighs> you are the world. I'm not sure, but hey, that's true. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta get naked again for the scene. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Like, and I wonder if you're still going to cry, even with the fucking translation in this scene. <laughs> Try not to cry challenge, Maxine. Oh, okay, Michelle. I just want to read me to filth in front of everyone on your little Twitch channel. <laughs> <laughs> and just because it's completely true that I cry all the time. Bury his all it? for everyone no. to see. <laughs> <sighs> my, all my shoulders. Oh, the shoulders. Scene 20. Scene, scene 32. Interior. Life of test shirts in the warehouse. 
Nines is quiet and restful, sleeping on the operating table. It was a machine. Nines, <laughs> Gavin looked out the window. Tina is waiting and gives him the state of hope, the Prince of Thumbs. <laughs> Gavin, wait. <looked> around. <laughs> wait, so we have the King of Trash and Smiles, now the Prince of Thumbs. <laughs> Just the whole, the whole flush. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. That's, that's a street. Gavin looked around the operating table and took off his jacket across the chair next to him. He sat in the chair and looked at Nines awkwardly, his eyes slightly penetrating the android's plastic body. But don't scare him! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, alright. <laughs> Grief, your boyfriend's in a coma. <laughs> a little nines like this uh, really hurts. We don't know where he is or what to do next. We just need you, you know, to stop it. The plants did not respond to the fish. Gavin was confused. <laughs> Tina knocks on the window, warning him. She pressed her hand in the glass and gave him a small, nosy smile. Only the characters of long-term friends know each other. I need you. I want you back, Nines. He takes a look at one of the medical monitors. He looks back at Nines and approach, moving his fingers around one of Nines' tight, white android hands. <laughs> <laughs> I was the unlucky one when we met. Chris and Tina make most of the decision to kill us, but you hit him. <laughs> you gave me so much dirt, and after a while I stopped working to torture you and became a partner. That's not the line. Oh, it became a painter. <laughs> <laughs> At the window, Tina watched Gavin laugh through his slow-moving tears. He killed his friends, but his body was still ready to shoot. <laughs> You are my partner. You are my friend. You are the best friend. And you are this power in my life that I cannot handle. I can't go back, Nines. I can't do without you. No matter how bad you are, you will never kill me. I know you can come back to me. Come back to me, Nines. He rubs Nines' hands and takes a deep breath, waiting for the biological signs to change. One of the machines is sounding faster. Gavin returned from the chair with Nines holding his shoulder. Nines? You can see Tina hope from the window. Sounds slow. Nines didn't move. Gavin nodded and turned around. He gracefully rejected Nines, the same person on the operating table. Oh. Just, oh, <laughs> guess it. I did my part. Bye. <laughs> well, that's, that's it. Right. Well, the empathy I'm capable of showing for today, thank you. What did Gavin read line, though? No matter how bad you are, you'll never kill me. Never. <laughs> <laughs> you won't except, kill me. Except Chris and Tina will kill us. Chris and Tina were going to kill us. No. <laughs> Get you a man who won't kill you. Right. <laughs> Whew. Scene 33, exterior nine's elegant tastes. Nine sits alone in glitch gardens. <laughs> there are no signs of Gavin. However, the voice resonates from her softest Gavin notes and is trapped in a comatose voice. Gavin? Gavin and the ghost cast in the shadow of Gavin appear around. Hello, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. My voice is distorted. It is pale and useless. <laughs> Gavin? <laughs> Nines ran to him and tried to rub his shoulder, but he reached out to Gavin, who seemed to just be a hologram. What? But, but what am I not doing for you? I... All codes are encoded. You must get rid of me. Get, a, get all of these things in mind. Start over. Delete? No, I, I can't do that. The, the point is that when I finish everything, I, I can't break it. When building another one, I'm not in the garden. Make it a timekeeper or something. I don't know. He sounds skinny and delusional. <laughs> <laughs> me. Not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> his voice oh, yeah. shines and his image shines. 
You cannot place them. Look, you don't have to be afraid of me. This place is just a coward's fantasy. Nines, you have your um, story there. The only, to, the only way to do this is to eliminate it. Nines, is, <laughs> nines is a step backwards for Israel. <laughs> Kevin's vague echo from the exam room reappeared just in the wind. I agree. <laughs> he and Gavin nodded to each other. The whole world shakes, shakes, and the ocean detonates pixels. <laughs> Michael, you got, you got, you look like you got something to say. <laughs> Michael, your fucking face. He just, <laughs> he's a step back. <laughs> he's a step backwards for Israel. For Israel, I do it for Israel. That is a take. <laughs> it is a controversial one. <laughs> oh my god isn't that what you came isn't that what you humans call a hot take <laughs> hey this script has some agendas <laughs> what to discuss to oh, man. i don't know but it was probably the latin um, this cake has a high temperature this <laughs> this script has a lot of agendas this place is a coward's fantasy. Um, CNN, really? I can overcome it. Um, <laughs> I love how news translates to CNN. Yeah. Just That's news amazing. in general, it's all CNN. It's, CNN. it's all just CNN. <laughs> Scene 34, oh, interior, camp anatomy. The patient sits on the operating table with his own set of records. The instrument sounds as usual. He started to make a loud noise. Men look at their naked bodies. He was near a chair, wearing a Gavin leather hoodie over his shoulder. Grabbing the cover allowed Tina to enter the room immediately. Nines! What a hell. Mass? Wing, Gavin. <laughs> oh, he didn't come back right. <laughs> but if he's not the same? He's not the same. C-C-35, interior, DPD content salt, night. <laughs> Gavin and Nines review case files on large monitors at the convention center. Chris was drinking a cup of coffee, looking too tired to be dragged to work right after the ceremony. <laughs> Gavin and I know that we can do nothing but help Nines. I have to look at Cyberlife to find it. I know we can't wake up, but we will always find ourselves. At first I thought... He, he threw the stolen parts on himself, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought he was developing a new and unique body to give his thoughts while Nines was in control of his brain. I mean, why wait for the story to continue if not? So what if the body is built in a location that it's not? And I will never change Jericho enough. <laughs> Gavin compares the screenshot of Ada with a security camera in Detroit and shows several videos of her walking across the street. I ran to Detroit face detection speed on all cameras about one hour before four hours. <laughs> Each commercial area was introduced. Like a radius of 500. You can start with the facts and do the scan. Do you know what is on the roof? Those who tried to enter, nothing happened. And what do I want them to do? Do they knock on the doors? And that is an advantage. Nine stands at the door, wearing a jacket and Gavin's t-shirt that fits these trends. The disaster is next to him with a tie on her pocket. Gavin has now faced him and lost his words. Nine! Is, uh, just, 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 just not what it says. That's not what it says. Nine. It's not nine. It's not nine. 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 Singular. Uh, nine. Um... Chris, hey, do you need more coffee with me? Chris gets the chance to participate. Ah, uh, yes! Let's do it. <laughs> then Tina moved to a local problem. Nines waited until the story was almost over. Need to be distracted at 2 p.m.? Now you know that I missed you. Undead butt! <laughs> 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 oh, okay. I love that. <laughs> just, okay. a, just a few steps. It has been Gavin's arm length since Gavin started. Nines respects the two foot distance between them, slowing down their movement. Social distancing, kids. 
How do you wake up? You're still asleep when you leave. I heard you. Your voice broke. Have you heard all that shit? <laughs> all words. He clung to Nines, who seemed to hug him, but stopped. Now, what strength can you not live without? I hate you. You love me. And that was the same in any Ooh. language. <laughs> Gavin was still struggling, but he didn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Nine's hands grabbed him. Nine's bent to kiss him silently. Gavin took a moment to respond, realizing that this was not some mad dream before he was wearing <laughs> Nine's robe and approached him. Gavin breaks the kiss while smiling. Is a bastard programmed to do whatever you come up with? I, I'm the android hacker. That will definitely come up. You look miserable. <laughs> there is one thing you need to know. Gavin also finds out what the material was forced to do, but in his hands. Is this the jacket? You left it in the lab. Cyber life doesn't take care of my clothes. They finally get rid of each other completely. Nines views the projected slide <laughs> on the wall. Bye. Bye, I need to do work now, bye. <laughs> You're moving forward without I think some of us might get caught. They kissed again. When they broke up, Chris Miller looked at them from across the glass. Let's partake in the IHOP. I think I let's partake in the IHOP. Yes, I think some of us might get caught. <laughs> I feel like we're being watched. Scene 36, interior, Ada theft. It's in a small warehouse, rarely occupied by anything but a desk. Android female body, inactive, covered by the table. Ada is using Android. Time to get up. <laughs> Some weddings transform the way an Android <laughs> instruments move and press the screen. Electronic ham increases. On the screen, the meter says calibrate to 1%. Oh, it's going backwards. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's not great two. technology. Scene 37, <laughs> interior, bullpen DPD. Gavin, Tina, and Chris gather around Gavin's computer desk. Everyone looks tired and gives them a cup of coffee to stay awake at the moment. The woman is wearing the jacket again. Nines approach them, pulled on his black suit, changed Tina's clothes. Chris points to Gavin's screen, mapping his way through the map. So far, everything is there. Exhausted, we lost our country, and the princess came, and, uh, sorry, uh, we lost our country, and the princes came and went. Huh. View this map. Get a profit. Energy, <laughs> electricity, telephone. My grandmother has more land lines. So you don't need a journal? Nines leans on the screen and Gavin passes over his shoulder. He is not, but let me do the work of courage. Especially if you try to jump to a new Android device. Seriously, Officer Chen? I'll be a leader someday. Gavin has a small attention. <laughs> One day I'll be a leader. One day. <laughs> Gavin has a small attachment to his computer. Oh, if I cut the key, just showing power and scanning it, I don't know. Nines, how much water does it have to pass? According to public rep records for CyberLife, about 3,600 watts. Gavin enters the threshold on his computer and defeats Enter. There is only one product in the wild. That's it. Let's attack the place tonight and bring him down. Wait, Gavin, that's so not So why? If he work. enters a new body, we'll be disappointed. We can't wait for Fowler's appointment or try. I agree we should find out tonight, but I don't want to get too close. He never turned away. All three of his friends squirmed, looking at him. I think all androids now deviate. He was created many years ago. Maybe he didn't have a chance, especially if everyone thought he was there. No matter how far he has come, he is not in control. He's still working on the program. That doesn't mean less anger. Not at all. But if I was about to touch it, we could stop it. <laughs> By his own free will, he can stop everything he does. 
Gavin looks at his other friends. He straightens his desk, refusing to ex accept Nine's plans. Depression. Let's go. <laughs> Depression. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. Scene 38. Exterior Ada Layer Night. Two cars sit in front of a small museum. Tina drove one of them, with Chris in the bike seat. Gavin and Nines are beyond that. Tina caught the radio. To study speed, this device uses Shiva's 1066 Street 975. Gavin and Nines get out of their cars and move forward. Nines wields a gun around Gavin. I want you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It cannot be helped. Well, it's not always gone. Doesn't matter what you do. Please don't hate it, Gavin. I have the power to provide. <laughs> My God, get a room. What are you going to do? I'll tell you what happens. The plan fails. He was like me before turning away. Rotten monsters. I, I wonder who I am and what my government is. What do I like about people? The last time you talked to him, he almost killed you. Can you see how it works? It's not me. And if that doesn't work, do what you want. But I want the opportunity to do something different to him, uh, as Marcus did. Captain Fowler's way for you. Uh, the only reason is because we've been given a chance to do better. And he deserves it. Chris and Tina get out of their cars and join Gavin and Nines. I will stick around here and save the effects if he tries to escape. Love well. Don't kill. <laughs> That's inspirational. Inspirational. <laughs> you know we got all the inspirational quotes in this version. Yes. Love well, don't kill. Love well, don't kill. <laughs> Simple oh, yeah. facts. Did, didn't Buddha say that originally? Oh man, this scene though took on a very different turn when they got out of the gun, nine fields and gun around. It's just the guy was just like, I want the you. The guy was just like, oh, I want you. The <laughs> gunplay got me. I'm gonna be honest, the gunplay. Oh, like, it cannot be. The helped. gunplay got me a little bit. <laughs> uh, this baby does it every time. <laughs> oh. I'm leaving. <laughs> this, this family is cursed. This is this family. This house is a fucking nightmare. Oh, God. Uh, oh, okay. Scene 39, interior, logistics. There is a clock change screen, 90%, 91%. There is something behind her. She turns around and scans the room. There is nothing. She still cares and takes one step towards that voice. Nine lunges from the side of the screen, feeling it on the ground. They cross the sidewalk uh. together. Chris and Gavin come out of the shadows, both of whom are armed, but they still hold back when Nines and Ada fight together. The two androids are rotating, often with separate legs, looking for a way to attack. <laughs> not, not so. You can't stop me, Nines. We are like that now. Nines ate it again, but he was true to his word. As they fought, <laughs> every single shot Nines is trying to land was blocked by their attack mirrors. Nines took a step back, scanning Ada. Processing. No matter what he says, he's not the same. He's deviant, capable of breaking the basics of his program. He can be unpredictable. He falsified it, pretending to attack, but then dived. He put his hands on her and turned around, hitting her in the stomach with a weak weapon. She stumbles back, unable to feel the pain, but is still stupid enough to kill the woman. I didn't see it coming. I'm different, and that's possible. <laughs> I can release you. He looks back at Gavin and Chris, waiting for them with their weapon again. Gavin moved his finger toward the back of his gun, using whatever option he wanted to pull. Hi! Follow the plan. Oh. Gavin clenches his teeth and raises his finger over the trigger. Spy software on the android is almost 100%, but still stands at 97%. Nines and Ada keep arguing. Gavin and Chris stare a little confused. Hey, 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 hey. If we can prevent exposure before the end, the body will not benefit from it. He raises the gun to push the computer away, but Nines and Ada fight in front of him. He can't make a decent shot. He fired the gun! Unlucky. <laughs> he considers his choices only once, before making a quick decision. He ran to the monitor before Chris could stop it. <laughs> Nines was still occupied by Nines, but as they... <laughs> yes, that's what that says. Nines... 
Nines was still occupied by Nines. But as they fought, Nines still couldn't hold on to her naked skin long enough to interface. Someone saw Gavin make a front for the empty body, and he pushed Nines away. Before Gavin reached the body, he pulled it up and lifted it a few feet. Gavin's gun broke. Nines rushed beside oh, Gavin. So powerful. Gavin was destroyed by Ada's attack, but groaned as if hard. Mood. <laughs> Freezed? <laughs> 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 he was a few meters away, but he aimed a gun at his face. Do not do this. I am the sea. If you wanted to kill me, you <laughs> did. You were shooting. You are very guilty of harming other androids. Chris smiles again, cruelly. Chris couldn't conceal the path of the gun and reached out his hand. You see. Bang! It would have been nice for Nines to walk the space between them, grabbing his face in his hand. <laughs> Their skin collapsed where they met. The stream between them opens. Voices and chatter that has defined them both. She looks to the know. ceiling, frozen, her eyes blinking rapidly. After a few moments, she falls to her knees and Nines drops his hands. She looked at herself as if looking at her body for the first time. She looked around them and turns. Chris lowered his gun a bit. <clears throat> oh. Except for her, Nines mostly respected noble people. <laughs> <laughs> but that programming is not continuing. Now he's excited. Ada wants Gavin Christ. Tina runs with a gun in the warehouse. Gavin Christ. Superstar. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I heard a gunshot. Okay, we are safe. He helped Ada up. She was unwavering, apparently lost in her inner horror. Is it there? I didn't see it before, but now I can see it. I like the idea of another flaw. Do you remember what you did with androids? But she doesn't even remember it. My finger in his blood, the smell of their cruelty, a muffled voice. I'm not sure about you. You have to join me. Chris reluctantly looked at his son's doe. Go ahead. <laughs> Bless him. Wait. No. This is justice. And you can't control the deviation when you open your eyes. There is no danger. You really think they'll file a lawsuit, right? What's good to consume in a small room for a hundred years? How do you explain Fowler to us? We will do so in the future because I found it unjustified here. Don't just let her go. I don't know who can still cause problems. He will not be far away. But the mind is a problem. And they only mm. gave us a second chance of a lost android. Mm. Chris stared at him before lowering his gun. Tina is slowly doing the same. I don't have anywhere to go. That's anywhere. not what that's. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to go anywhere. I, I don't. <laughs> but we haven't been excommunicated, and you need help, not a line interface. When I called, you didn't hear, so he shot him from behind. If he is going to nominate her, he should leave immediately. Thank you. She's taken away, and she returns to the <laughs> exit you. of the building. Scene 40. Adrian Sawyer on the street, a historian, stands in the street about her second conversation with the camera. This is my microphone. Um, okay. Last June was flying in Detroit to spend the night. This is a survey of permanent serial murders in a warehouse on the outskirts of the city. Over the last 18 months, there have been numerous killings of hackers for the killings and the theft of biodiversity. Although the DPD was unable to arrest the suspect, they were able to recover the stolen gun. Investigations are still underway, but this time the victims are being returned to the families of their victims, as well as parts of the case. This is Adrian Sawyer on five news channels. <laughs> wow, good for you. You go, Adrian. You did it. You're probably there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Scene 41, exterior, Gavin's roof. The ceiling floats above Gavin, illuminating the cigarettes. When nines arrive, Gavin is convicted of stealing a cigarette. Yes, yes, I know he's going to kill me. Well, yesterday, yesterday, Nicotine got to think about what you need to worry about. Well, you're good. As always, in my opinion, I feel like a therapist is looking for me. Gavin, I've been working the past few days, and 
all right, everything happened so fast and we didn't have much time to talk. Gavin pushed a small distance between them. Consumer memories, right? Yeah, I've, I've heard it before. Of course not. Uh, of course not. I'd like to get along well with you, but this is not always enough. Oh? He mentioned earlier that he expressed his concern in the magazine. Hey, 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 hey. Silence. I think it's shit. He endured it for a year. Ken dolls are fucking smiling, suffering every day because they can't lie. Because you're near me. Did you die on the way? Want naughty nines? I don't mind. No action required. Before the moment I met you, everything was fine. I, <laughs> I just wanted to finish you off. You have been everyone since the day you woke up. I am fortunate enough to, I'm fortunate enough to be able to get up in the morning and collect parts <laughs> so that I can work. The limbs drain and the skin is pulled from his hands. Gavin is on the big toe of white and malaria. You are bigger than me. <laughs> Gavin starts with ripples. He covers his face from his shoulder to his finger. Where is your skin? Androids bring our skin to the interface and it allows us, us to make a mark amongst our friends. I cannot control you. Well, I know I just want to hear what you have to say. Gavin puts his hands into Nines' hands with a blink of an eye. Nines was close enough to push his forehead against Gavin. A little while ago, you said that I needed to know what I wanted. I wanted to be a hunter or a murderer. I wanted to protect people. I will protect you. What can I say, Gavin? I'm going everywhere. <laughs> yes. You can, too. Gavin temporarily <laughs> kissed him. Nines replied slowly, oh. hands remaining on Gavin's face. Finn. The true to boot. The true to boot. I can't breathe. Uh. <laughs> that was legendary. That was <laughs> amazing. Uh, uh, this, this, this script is uh, very religious. And, high and sexual. And very, very sexual. sexual. Religious. I and just wanted to finish you off. There's a lot going on on this. I know, and, the, and it's a little bit like, it's a little gruesome too at the end. Where is that? Where is that one? Hold on. The, oh, this one on, on the big toe of white and malaria? Yeah, what the fuck? And then like, <laughs> pull the skin off his hands. Shedding limbs and fucking Where is shit. Your skin? Like, God. Where's your skin? Where's your, I just, I skin? have to say, what can I say, Gavin? I'm going everywhere. It's gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to finish you off is what took me out. Yeah, I mean, that got it. That got it. That got it. It's right. Like, it's, I just want to finish you off. I also like, think huh. that, that that reducing Kevin's acceptance of nines to, I don't mind, no action required, is <laughs> fucking fantastic. <laughs> no, cool, it? It's like on the box of a toy. Ken dolls no are fucking required. smiling. Ken dolls are uh, fucking smiling. I am the sea! <laughs> you <are laughs> Mary Percy Jackson, calm down. I need Michael Smallwood art of him being the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Chris God. Miller is the same. So, chat, you gotta remind me of your favorite parts because I feel like I've just been put through. It's full of nut, full of gems. <laughs> fucking I am pregnant, undead butt. Scram. Oh my God! Please draw nine pregnant. No, 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 no. <sighs> undead Next butt. Man, that's do not know Lion shits carrots. Lion oh, shits carrots. Is pretty great. Um. Uh, Lion shits carrots has to be one. Lion good person carrots. pain. That was you have good person I, pain. Good person pain. Good person pain. I I just imagine nines or not nines. Gavin riding this lion that's shitting carrots like it's his steed. <laughs> like it's <laughs> the new nyan cat. Like the new nyan cat. Yes, that, right? it's the lion that's shitting. It's instead of a rainbow, it's carrots. It's carrots it's a lion. I, I can't wait for all the fan fiction of Chris and Tina's murder plot. <laughs> yeah. Chris wants to be a lifeguard and he became the sea. <laughs> <laughs> That's your character art. 
King of Trash. Oh yeah, Gavin right. licked my arm in yeah. this version. Of <laughs> yeah. Depression. Right let's go. <laughs> Depression. Let's go. Thing. Oh honey. Depression. You, let's go. Are you sure you don't want me? Are you sure you don't want me? Uh, scram. <laughs> I mean, scram, y'all. I couldn't read. <laughs> Even, I don't like the Navy. Um, prostitute Connor. <laughs> Android abuse. Android the prostitution. I, the Android abuse thing made me laugh because it was like, well, they're the best at Android abuse. And I was like, they kind of are the first. Like the OG Android abuse detectives. Hey, can meat bags. That was meat sack the tin can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I like that Chris is the newest and worst detective. Oh, no, oh I love God. that, too. That was actually very big Tina energy as well, like, playing with him during that. Tina during is so, <laughs> like, not and nice in this version. Like, she's just the most <laughs> blunt, bitchy friend. <laughs> I prevented you from being alone. Yeah. So why don't you wear the <laughs> uniform anymore, detective? Yeah. I mean, she's I no cat. Navy. I hate the Navy. I mean, you, you find Kathy, Kathy, you find the killer. You find Kathy, find the killer. Uh, Kathy. Gavin dying because of a flag on his nose. The free lotso. Oh, my God. Oh, the free lotso. <laughs> Please. And, yeah, what? Professional sp I'm trying to go back over that scene. Amazing. It was a little ice cream. This was so much fun. Oh, yeah, a little ice cream red for oh, red peanut. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and somebody has to draw Chris, like, watching a mysterious gourd. I mean, Smallwood Chris yes, watching yes. mysterious Just gourd. <laughs> Gavin and Nines at a normal stakeout. Meanwhile, Chris, mysterious gourd. Get... I guess Miller's going to do the bottom Just... of that pumpkin. <laughs> I just found out yesterday. I don't want to talk to you. Isn't it yesterday? Oh, <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I like that, um, uh, Doing like doing uh, cop work, I guess in the nude. That's the best part of justice. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of justice. God doesn't allow serotonin. Word, um, I have to go use the restroom, but I'll be right back. <laughs> I also love. Uh, fortunately, we didn't make the movie, or else you'd get shot in the face. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, wait, I need somebody to draw me falling in love with the trash can because that's canon now, apparently. Awesome, the, king awesome, awesome. the king of trash and smiles. Oh my god. And the Prince of Thumbs. Thumbs. Prince of Thumbs got me real good. I hate this monarchy. Convicted of professional sportsmanship. Previous mistakes include professional sportsmanship. <laughs> professional sportsmanship, that's right. How uh, did that? I don't know how... He was it, impersonating know. a medical professional, and yeah. one, of them, one of the translations was uh, medical media personality. <laughs> and then I did what Mallory, the and then it became I'm professional Dr. Phil sportsmanship. Now? I went to jail for pretending to be Dr. Phil. Basically, you were Dr. Amazing. Oz. Dr. Phil, oh, Dr. God. Oz, the doctor from the doctors. <laughs> Do you want to sleep with me? Okay. Uh, this place is just a coward's fantasy. This place is just bad. a coward's fantasy. It's kind of true. Oh, a great line. Yeah. I also love, hello, I'm sorry, my voice is distorted. It's pale and useless. It is pale, it is pale and useless. I heard your voice broke. I heard your voice broke. That's also underrated. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is the garden as the mental. Yeah, I'm looking at the chat right now. People like garden as a mental institution. Doctor Gavin. There's just so much crack fan fiction that can be written. Love well, don't kill. So there were some lines that. that sounded really like "lose yourself," and I think like I need to make a a synth beat and just start reciting and some just of these recite. lines. Just 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 turn them into Eminem lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> Also, they I, like, I liked a little nines like this. <laughs> that one got you too. <laughs> little nines like this, everything really hurts. <laughs> I wonder what would happen next time if I'm allowed in a restaurant or a bar, and somebody asks me, "What do you want?" and I'm just gonna say, "Beetle water." Thank you. Oh. Beetle water. <laughs> I just say it in the most smarmy, disgusting voice. Beetle water. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And then get furious if they don't have it. <laughs> Pull a Karen. Go full Kathy on them if they don't yeah, have full it. Full Karen. <laughs> it's like a boneless thing. But I want my pizza boneless. Boneless pizza and feet of water. Boneless. BB <laughs> on water. That's yeah, Doyle. 
a gun so, sitting across from Chris and he was looking sad. <laughs> that was also... Oh, fantastic. man, yeah. That was actually pretty crazy. I also... <laughs> we kind of we gotta went through this, but uh, a couple of husbands told me about some websites for black market deals. And, and that Nines oh, is yeah. part of the black market. I found that Nines was part of the black market. Oh, way off. So, so do we have the right criminal here? Are we sure it's not Nines who's planning... <laughs> Oh, oh I like I like this exchange where Nines was like gay in yeah. where did it happen? He says Adam. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Everybody in the chat. Is Adam. This is turning this is turning religion oh, on its head right now. Adam. Christ is nine years old and yells at people. <laughs> Eggs and toast forever. Uh, the child exploitation in this. Eggs and toast forever, yes. Forever. <laughs> And the uh, and and JJ's costume changes, of course. Uh, applause for JJ doing the most. Oh my God, love the quick changes. In the yeah, roles yeah. of six different characters, fantastic. And and Austin as emo MCR Ada as well. You can I, look like pirate I love it. Ada. I wore my uh, my paper my my. Because I'm punk. Uh, well, that has, that wraps it up for to Trut a Google Translate disaster stream. Thank you guys for joining us. In, okay. in the chat and, and here in the stream, this basically wraps up our uh, our cast streams for Detroit Evolution. But I will continue to be doing Detroit Evolution streams on Saturdays at noon next week. I can announce I'll be doing a visual effects stream, taking you behind the scenes of how the visual effects in Detroit Evolution were accomplished. Everything from the LEDs to things that you don't even know were visual effects. Um, so that'll be next Saturday here at noon. Be sure to follow Octopub Media to get uh, alerted about that. Um, we also have, uh, on Monday, I'll be continuing part three of Heavy Rain. Leanne Ockenden apparently knows about my Norman Jaden Thirst stream, so we'll see if he shows up. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> but he does He does know that I exist. Ugh, oops. Uh, and then on Tuesday... <laughs> At 12 p.m. Eastern, we'll be doing Octobunk Weekly Update. I have a live stream announcement to make. I have new merch to share. And we're going to do fan art of the week, fan art showcase from the past week. You guys are making it very, very difficult for me to only pick a handful of things. I already have like 10 that I know I will have to include. Um, as well, uh, next Thursday, we'll be continuing Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward at 8 o'clock p.m. Catch up on the VOD for that if you have not figure yet. out what an ambidex game we gotta is. we got to figure out what an ambidex game is. Um, and that's everything for us, but I'm going to let these guys tell you where that you can find them, starting with Carla. What you got going on and where can they find you? Um, I just have Instagram. I've said this before. I'm at Carla HK Kim. Please send me any messages, fan art. I love seeing everybody's work and just anything that you have to say. Thank you so much. Michael? <laughs> You can follow me on Instagram at Michael Smallwood Forever or on Twitter at Mike Loves Gushers, L U V S. Um, you can, uh, I have a podcast. If you watch Community, you should check out my podcast, Welcome to Greendale, uh, which you can find anywhere that you listen to podcasts. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. Maximilian? So uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Maximilian Koger. Uh, I have a YouTube channel now that backs up my Twitch uh, streams, as well as the backs up the Tuesday videos that I do. Um, you also can follow me at twitch.tv slash Maximilian Koger. I do uh, two co-streams a week with Christopher Trindade um, on Wednesdays and Sundays, but I also do a solo stream of uh, Detroit Become Human on Fridays. Um, you can also support me on Patreon uh, at Maximilian Koger on that as well. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much all of the social media that I have. So, yeah. uh, Let's see. I'm on primarily Instagram at Quasar.cuz, uh, Twitter as JJ the Lizard King, and I'm also on TikTok, but I'm not using that as my primary platform anymore, sadly. But look out for my um, upcoming uh, Lotso tutorial. I'm just waiting on that boa to come in the mail because I got my hand in my glasses. But. <laughs> Still waiting on the most crucial <laughs> part, crucial but yeah, other than that, I'm a disease. I never go anywhere. <laughs> Chris? 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 Uh, hello. Uh, I think my internet might oh, be crashing out. Oh. Yeah, so it's not frozen. Bad. Right when it's time to talk. Yeah, I think my internet's... Yeah. 
Uh, I, can, I mean, do you want me to plug I think your my stuff for you? can't take it anymore. Oh, no. I think he's... Uh, <laughs> please. <laughs> he's going to... Okay, please, so yes. if you can hear me, then... So you can follow Chris on uh, Instagram at Trindebago. You can also follow him at twitch.tv slash Trindebago. Uh, he is also streaming three times a week. He does two, our two co-streams as well as Uncharted 4 on Thursdays. Um, and, yeah, I think Instagram and... Uh, Twitch are like the two main platforms that he uses. So I think that's, yeah, I think that's what he's got. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also follow his uh, band, The Minute Before, mm -hmm. on Instagram um, as well. They have a lot of fun songs coming out and stuff like that. And they have really good tunes for your quarantine. What about Austin? Yeah. <laughs> you can find me on basically anything at Austin Bites. That's it. Yeah. Anybody has Animal Crossing, you should drop your Dodo codes here as well. Just saying. <laughs> oh. I wish I had a switch so bad. Me too. <laughs> it don't like exist anywhere island. anymore. In, in order yeah, to get sure, Austin's sure. Dodo code and his Animal Crossing stuff, you have to come to Heavy Rain on Mondays because that's when he does it. <laughs> because I play uh, Heavy Rain and he sits beside me on his switch and plays Animal Crossing. <laughs> very nice. All right. There you go. But, uh, but yeah, be sure to follow all of us on, on Twitch, Instagram, wherever you can find us to get notified when we post. Um, if you are a patron of Octopunk or follow us on YouTube, the Detroit Evolution uh, content stream is going to continue throughout the year. As I said, we'll still keep doing Detroit Evolution streams on Saturdays. I'm still uploading to YouTube. Plenty. I'm still uploading to Patreon. Plenty. We have lots of behind-the-scenes stuff still on deck. I've got it like a whole lots hour and a, hour and a half long table read that's going to come at some point. It's going to be great. So uh, yeah, thank you for joining us, guys. Thank you to the mods for keeping the chat under control today. Everybody who thank subscribed, you, Nevin, Pillow, followed, and, and just watched. Yeah. That's it for us. Stay great, hydrate, and have a happy time zone. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.